Thank you again for meeting with us. Sure. Uh, so the, the reason that we came today is because we wanted to ask for some information or some suggestions about how to make online teaching more immediate and lifelike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so most of the stu schools right now that are doing distance teaching, they're doing one of two things. Mm -hmm. uh, they're either recording all of their classes and then just sending it to the kids and saying, mm -hmm. okay, do homework. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or they're using mm -hmm. like Zoom, Zoom, Google Meet, mm -hmm. things like that. So in Taiwan or across the world? Well, in, in, in Taiwan, China, I don't think anybody. Yeah, no Zoom right now. No yeah, Zoom. no more Zoom. But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, because we just find it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we don't use Zoom right now. Okay. Um, but w what we've seen is because our kids are younger than university level, uh -huh. so they they're not that good at regulating themselves. Sure. Um, they need that feeling of immediacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they they have to feel like they're actually inside the classroom. Um, and but, but what's preventing them from being inside the classroom? I mean, we are inside the room now. Oh yeah, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about, this is probably not going to be the only situation with a virus or in a pandemic or something like that. And even if it is, I think the future of education isn't going to be 100% always inside the classroom with all the kids. Mm -hmm. It's very possible that some days we'll have some kids, mm -hmm. other days we'll have other kids. Sometimes they're going to be home, sometimes everybody's going to be together. Okay. So we were wondering how can we create a, a sort of environment where the kids inside of the classroom can feel like the distance learning kids are also inside the classroom. And how can we make the distance learning kids feel like they are inside the classroom? Well, you just connect the two rooms together using projectors on walls. Um, the projectors on the walls probably you is pretty you effective. You connect, I don't know, one, two, three, four rooms together. That's probably pretty <coughs> effective for the kids inside the school. But what about the kids outside of the school? If they want to feel like they're actually inside the classroom. But they're also projecting to their walls. There's a lot of projectors. Yeah, that's right. You mean at their But we, we do do that. Like every other week or so, uh, we tour around Taiwan mm -hmm. and we connect whichever uh, municipality. Uh, I think we were in Meili, right, last time. Uh, and we connected people from Taipei, from Taichung, from Elshong, from Taidong, and so on. And each of them used a wall size projector. Mm -hmm. So that it's virtually like a large room. Okay, so if I'm walking around the room and I want to talk to this particular person, yeah, does, does that mean we need like eye tracking software? And you don't, you don't. Uh, you just need a, a camera like this that follows around. So who operates the camera? They could just. That's right, and we also have stand-in avatars. So uh, we actually have one item of you Have this. So if you want to somebody to stand in uh, for somebody else. Um, you just hook it to a rotating chair okay. uh, and put on it a tablet. Okay. And then whomever who wants to talk to their remote participant, just walk up to this tablet and uh, start talking to them. And then the chair can be moved around? Yeah, of course. It's a rotating loop chair. All right. And if the distance person would like to feel like they can move inside the room? Yeah, then they, they can just point someplace. Uh, and either they're, uh, this is like a wheelchair uh, student, right? Mm -hmm. They can either wheelchair themselves in, or somebody can help to, to wheelchair them there. Uh, and there's different sorts of wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. There are uh, more mundane wheelchairs, like Double Robotics uh, 2.0, which you have to manually wheel yourself mm -hmm. by, by pressing the arrow keys on yeah. your keyboard. But the, on Double 3.0, uh, it's a more advanced wheelchair. You just point anywhere in the room, and it just and navigates oh. to it without you manually controlling it. Is that a big financial burden? Yeah. No, no. You can rent it. Uh, we, we've used it, I think, more than ten times now. Who would we talk to about something like that? Uh, we work with Trip Moment, Trip uh, Moment, Trip Moment uh, in, for example, the National Palace Museum. Mm -hmm. Visit. Uh, I visited the South uh, Division of the National Palace Museum as a robot mm. uh, and uh, because they put a 360 camera on top of my robotic global uh, and then uh, everybody on YouTube can just view if they have a VR then immersively but otherwise rotating uh, to see and I don't have to uh, broadcast uh, my face uh, in, in 360. Uh, mm. It's just me with a face in the tablet mm. but what I see is 360 uh, and so people can just uh, look at whichever NPM um, 
um, exhibitions that they wish to talk more about, they type in their questions, and I forward those questions to the head curator, and the curator just answers that. So that is very immersive uh, for everybody who follows along mm. uh, under a low latency YouTube 360 live streaming. That, that's actually what I was thinking. Remember I said having little robots on the table so yeah, they can move around and talk to different people? That's right, and that's right. <laughs> this is just life-size robots, but otherwise the principle is the same. So with the current situation with our 4G network, is the latency <coughs> a really big issue for people that are using VR goggles? So VR is there to counter the latency issue. If you have to turn around your head mm -hmm. using a 2D camera, mm -hmm. there's bound to be a latency yeah. of you actually issuing that command mm -hmm. and yeah. the robot actually turning yeah. mm -hmm. uh, because it's kinetic. Mm -hmm. But because it's 360, you can turn locally. It's taking in all the angles anyway. Mm -hmm. So there's zero latency when it comes to rotation. There's some latency, of course, when it comes to movement, mm -hmm. but people are more uh, um, okay with that. It is the rotational latency that can render people dizzy. Mm. I, I think last week we went to talk to some people <coughs> at NQ, and yeah. they were telling us like, because of the slight latency, people might feel uncomfortable after a while of using it. That's yeah. right. So if you have a rotating but not moving chair, everybody will feel very good about it. Mm. But once it's moving, once there's translation uh, movement rather than only the rotational movement. Uh, then uh, there's uh, some seasick, uh, like VR sick, uh, mm -hmm. that you need to anticipate. But if they're not moving, they're staying in place uh, with a 360 Just turning around camera, the then, then there's no uh, risk of, of that. Oh, well, we should definitely try that. Yeah, I, I attended a, a local court in Shilin Court. Yeah. It's a mock court with a bunch of, uh, I think, junior high students or primary school students uh, and in a mock trial. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also use a 360 camera at the middle of the mock court mm -hmm. so that people who are following along can see the face of all the different sides. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, mounted uh, on, on, on the judge uh, seat so that uh, it is a combination of the two technologies that we have mentioned. One is the 360 that lets people see what's going on and one is this robotic avatar. Uh, you let, let you used that in the UN, right? Yeah, the well, uh, I did, yes, <laughs> yes, in UN IGF. And, and for UN, uh, it's just watching a movie, right? So the, the PRC uh, ambassador did not leave the room. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. um, so you said that we would take one of those tablets and put it on like a little robot track and you could That's move right. around. That's right. We definitely got to try that. So we just point and then it will turn? Yeah. And it will turn the way you want yeah. to by pointing? Yeah. Oh. So the manual turning is essentially costless, right? Yeah. You just have an existing tablet. Yeah. The turning rotation only is slightly more expensive. The full movement is even more expensive. Mm -hmm. There's always an uh, procurement budget, which is uh, 100K uh, US uh, Taiwan dollars. Mm -hmm. So maybe it would work with like a Wii remote or something like that? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. They can try various uh, combinations. But the, one of the key points is that if you allow for VR immersion, then you have to get a, a pretty good stable connection to the 4K 360 camera. Mm. But if it's only 2D or if it's not moving uh, horizontally or, or uh, vertically, then uh, you don't need that much of a good connection for G would do. Mm. Does it have to be 4K? Yeah. No, for 4K okay. is all pixel combined. Oh. But if you have 4K and 360, then each perspective is not 4K. Mm. Yeah. Um, to your knowledge, other than maybe um, high-end users, is, are there any schools or any educational organizations that are doing things like this? Right yeah, now? the Active Learning Forum of the Minerva School. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. Um, and lower than university level? Anybody trying that in Taiwan right now? Yeah, uh, so um, there's plenty of primary school uh, principals in New Taipei City mm. uh, that are setting up their own GC Meet um, video conferencing solution. So GC Meet is a uh, very simple, uh, fully open source free software that you can start a uh, teleconference uh, at any event time mm -hmm. uh, and with password protection and so on. But the good thing is that because it's fully open source, there really is no restriction of how you can use it. So for example, you can do a virtual classroom like this uh, and let your uh, student join so that I can join uh, whichever uh, area that I want. 
Mm -hmm. And I can uh, walk around the classroom virtually. Mm -hmm. uh, I can also attach myself to one of the virtual iPads. Mm -hmm. I can then turn on the camera. In which case, for people following online, it's me talking mm -hmm. into the camera. But for people who are on site, it's my tablet talking with my face. And, and this is a very cheap technology that the primary school people can just implement using their own uh, existing hardware and software. Mm. Because it's free, there's no licensing cost. Uh, actually, a bunch of uh, uh, colleagues just run an online funeral oh, wow. uh, to evacuation Shenwei using uh, precisely this technology. And you can see this Yushan uh, bank uh, people on the upper right side you can see this Gov Zero uh, people. Uh, you can see uh, they leaving their uh, tributes uh, to Dr. Chen Shenwei and so on. And it's based on the same uh, GC Meet uh, technology that you can uh, very much, uh, very easily uh, set up uh, with no licensing cost. Mm -hmm. So you can see there's a huge number of concurrent uh, people um, in memory of uh, Chen Shenwei. Mm -hmm. yeah. That looks a little bit like uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> but it is a little bit like animal yeah. crossing, yes. Yeah. Except, of course, you don't have to pay for licensing fee. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's the same 8 bit uh, <laughs> aesthetics. Yeah. I think we could set something like that up. Uh, I think. Yeah, this is a free software, so yeah, free find software. it on GitHub, you can set it up yourself. Wait, so when you walk around in here, yeah? what do you actually see? Like, do you. Like what, how, what shows up on your screen? So um, basically, if there's multiple people, yeah. uh, all, all with all joining this, uh -huh. then uh, you can see multiple people, each one each with their uh, uh, um, camera. camera. So, so their uh, faces will show up on the right here or something? Or yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so I, I'm, 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 just I'm just talking just with myself uh, this way, but <laughs> Which is a little bit eerie, I guess, mm -hmm. but uh, you, you can easily <laughs> imagine that it's not uh, two people with the same face, okay. but actually yeah. two different people. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, th so that's, that's how it looked like. And uh, there's also um, setups that we're working on. Uh, so this is all contributed by the GovZero community contributors. It's not a uh, purely government project, but we do plan to use it uh, okay. in many uh, government sponsored project settings. Uh, and so, for example, th you can see there are places with a uh, speaker's uh, microphone or a moderator, uh, like, like this place uh, with uh, a screen sharing, so that you can screen share to there. And if you stand to the uh, kind of moderator's place, like uh, where, where Helen is here, uh, then uh, you can attach to one of the existing uh, tablets that's mounted there, so that uh, your face would then actually uh, occur in the uh, physical classroom. So you can teleport inside the classroom. Exactly, exactly. That, that, that's how, how, how it looks like. So there's many people online at the same time where you'll see many little screens. Yes, and each with, oh. each with a face. Each with a face. Would it be very laggy? No, 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 no. We, we tested, I think last time we tested uh, with the, the Pratt Institute, uh, uh, the management uh, school. Uh, and they're they're in a different time zone even, mm -hmm. and I think forty five people join concurrently, and there's no. And you lag. can decide who you want to mute, or like. Yeah, there there's a built-in feature that mutes everyone, but uh, the person in the podium. To. Oh. So, so if you want to talk, you walk to the podium. Oh. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> so and and if people are just watching uh, without speaking and so on they can uh, turn off their video, which saves the bandwidth even more. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, at this, uh, as you can see, it's very downscale resolution. Mm. Yeah. So, so it do re really doesn't matter uh, how many people join because the bandwidth uh, cost is minimal. Yeah. It's just the one speaker uh, with their screen share that needs to be maximized, uh, just as uh, what we see in the uh, video that I just play you, uh, you, you see uh, Dr. Chen Shenwei being the, the large screen. Yeah. Of course, that needs to be high definition. Yeah. yeah. So only one person can speak at a time on the podium. Uh, at the moment, there's three, right, in this setup, because oh, there's three okay. physical uh, okay. projectors, mm -hmm. right? But, but you can change the layout, of course. Yes. Okay. Can people personalize their little avatars? Yeah, of course. You can. That's cute. I think you can choose like school this uniform right. or teacher. It's like Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Yeah. Right. It's like Final Fantasy. Right. So you, you can change. 
or look like, and the teachers can uh, choose the headmaster. Or you can design the costume too, right? Yeah, that's right. That's to right. make the actual physical. Right, so, so, so yeah, this is the, the, the headmaster. <laughs> uh, the headmaster look. Do, do you think this could be connected to the actual little robots if we had them inside the room? Yeah, of course, of course. That would be so cool. Yeah. And then kids would never go to school anymore. Well, or kids will always go to school. Uh, always go to virtual school. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So are there any government meetings that are happening like this? Yeah, the presidential hackathon for one mm. is going to, to happen like this. Our cabinet meeting is using WebEx, mm. but, but there's no cute cartoon characters. We're, we're not there yet. Uh, but <laughs> the, the principle is the same. Mm -hmm. well, we should definitely try this out at school. Yeah, this could be like a project that yeah, there's uh, a community within Gap Zero uh, called, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, SDH001. Uh, so school. School. Yeah, <laughs> right. school. <laughs> right, and, and called Lin Shi Sao Sui Sao. Uh, if you look for Lin Shi Sao Sui Sao, you can find uh, the teachers uh, that are currently engaged. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the venue is uh, online mm -hmm. uh, and it's powered by GC Meet. Uh, and so they're already kind of drinking their own uh, mm. champagne <laughs> before they inflict it to their students. Mm. The teachers are being empowered using this kind of online forum. So th these are teachers in just normal schools right now? Th that's right, or, or alternative schools, oh, I guess. Oh, okay. I think 1C is in a uh, alternative school in Yubai Chunxi. Yeah. So uh, all these are public documents, you can very easily Google them. And you said for the chair, thing, it's called trip moment. Like T R I P M O M E N T. Trip moment, like for the. Uh, yeah, chair. trip trip moment. There, there are partners during the the NPM visit. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's this one. So you can buy the wheelchairs or rent it from them. Um, yeah, previously we rented from them, uh -huh. but I, I think now uh, if you look for double robot three. I think there's multiple resellers now. Uh, double yeah, and if you already have a double two, they can just switch to a double three head. Uh, it's very modular. Uh, and and the main feature, uh, so the trip moment collaboration was with a double two, but it, uh, the kind of flagship uh, feature of double three is self-navigation. Oh, and then if you point that way, it's going to Yeah, just point anywhere and just walk like there. Interacting. Google Maps. Yeah, that's right. cool. So it's just like playing The Sims. Do these things ever go so fast that they might be an injury risk to no, people? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I, I tried uh, W2 uh, not only in Geneva in the UN uh, meeting, but also in MIT Media Lab and in uh, the, the Venice Biennial uh, and, and many other places. And it's a consistently a very smooth experience. And you can also mount a 360 camera on top of it, mm. as we have done in MPM, uh, which completes the, the full s circle. And then you would. Yes. <coughs> so, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, this is like what you said, like, did you put it in? Uh, I was thinking about more old style, like tank treads. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty similar to what we were imagining. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know that the uh, hardware was actually available already. That's right, that's right. Yeah, you can, as you can see, they, they map, actually, the gray dots mm. are the ones that are navigable because it has a depth mm. uh, detection capability. So there's no way that you can get yourself uh, injured or running over someone because otherwise it won't be gray dots and uh, you can't click there. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not with like radar or anything. So the, the future is already here. Uh, it's not evenly distributed. Yes. Okay, well, when we were talking to Ben Q, one of mm -hmm. his main concerns, uh, we talked to Tim, Tim Hong, mm -hmm. and one of his main concerns was this and then people throwing up all the time. Yeah, yeah. So, so I don't re uh, recommend the VR headset yeah. at the very, yeah. very beginning. Mm. Just start with a wall size projector. Mm. Everybody is fine with a wall size projector. Yeah. And couple that with a laptop or uh, a um, tablet, 
uh, and with mounted tablets. And these are all very regular things that people already know. Their eyes know how to adjust. Mm -hmm. and, and you do all of this, and then you introduce mm -hmm. augmented reality mm -hmm. uh, through audio. That's through another audio. thing. Uh, because if you have two connected rooms, it's better if their sound comes from different speakers mm -hmm. uh, instead of mixing it to the same speaker. Yeah. And that adds to the, the veracity. Uh, and uh, if you uh, play your uh, speakers right, uh, you can feel that entirety of classroom is transported somewhere else. Mm. It's called an uh, immersive soundscape. And in the C lab, uh, there is a lab that doing exactly this. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, visual, because visual is the one that was the, the most health risk. Yeah. So I think it's a good to, to start uh, safe, mm -hmm. uh, first do no harm. Approximately, how much would this cost for one? Yeah. So existing, if you have existing tablets, mm -hmm. then it is is trivial. It doesn't cost anything. If you already have walls as projectors and tablets <coughs> and rotating chairs, and if you add to it a moving platform, of course, if you want to procure it. Last time we checked, double two uh, is as I said, one hundred k anti dollars each. That's the double two. That does the double two. That's I don't know about double three, but it should be in the same ballpark. Uh, and if you want to deploy this software, it's free software, it's no yeah. cost. If you want to run some experimental uh, applications of this, Lin Xu Xiao Xue Xiao actually gets funding from Chen Zhi Zixin Hui, which gets funding from Google.org. Uh, so they're actually paying people to, to try these things out. So the budget may well be negative. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you better get in touch with Google then. Uh -huh. yeah. Can you think of any uh, drawbacks of using this system? Yeah, of course. Um, <coughs> so during the night, uh, because these are all light emitting uh, mm. services, it uh, disrupts sleep. Everybody knows that. Mm. So, so try to keep uh, your uh, teleconferencing uh, classes before the sunset. That's um, what a responsible <laughs> educational facility would do. Mm. Uh, if you do this at 10 p.m., then people don't sleep very well. Well, all of our current students are in Taiwan right now, so we're not going to do anything. Ah, so you don't now. have time zone in yeah, sense. Yeah. Well, then, then you can be very ethical <laughs> in yeah. terms of, yeah. Uh, another thing we were thinking is because we, we've met up with quite a few students who are very promising students, but they yeah. have social difficulties. Sure, sure. They don't really like to leave home. Sure, and sure. I, I thought we could, if we had something like this, we could provide them that safety net of knowing I can unplug myself anytime I want. That's right, exactly. Exactly. And if you don't like how people are behaving to her, you just disconnect. Yeah, yeah. Rage quit. Yeah. yeah. Mm, well, not in a rage, hopefully, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. okay. Interesting. Do you know how we're going to explore this option? Well, we can maybe try out like one or two of these in the class if possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we can see how. Yeah, there's an existing community, so you yeah. can just reach out to them. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, I think they visited us, and, and there was a transcript uh, of uh, them visiting us. So uh, if you check out our uh, website, uh, there's a transcript uh, that posts uh, best visits, and they actually um, added quite a few hi very useful hyperlinks uh, and of their focuses and, and things like that. You, you don't have to copy that. I, I think ST has. Uh, this link and can send them to oh, you. Oh, okay, that's great. Yeah, and so, so these are the, the people you uh, you want to get in touch to if you want to try out that two-dimensional uh, map thing. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely do that. The kids are on. Uh, yeah, they're, they're 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 on. What's it called? The game. Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Minecraft is three D. Yeah. That's right. Mm. Well, right. That has been very very educational. Thank you. Thank you. Because yeah, we also want to try Google VR, so yeah, like Google, sorry, not, I mean like Google Cardboard, Cardboard, yeah, yeah. Google Cardboard. Yeah, we want to make our own Google Cardboard. So we're yeah, about yeah, yeah. Well, it's good as a exercise. Just don't stay in it for too much. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. Um, are, are are you satisfied with your beef? Uh, life, yes. Yes. Or is pronounced beef? Oh, but well, anyway. I don't know. I, I, I saw <laughs> it as a yeah. beef. Yeah, I, I'm I'm happy with it. I think that's another thing that we're going to explore as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the thing with that is that um, it requires a lot of setup. 
Mm. So if you have 20 students, uh, it, uh, troubleshooting alone would cost you a lot of time. Uh, but we did try, uh, for example, a virtual classroom uh, through the sponsorship of uh, with the public TV mm -hmm. in Taiwan um, back in 2016. Uh, I talked with a lot of uh, junior high mm -hmm. and uh, also primary schools uh, students and in a virtual meeting room uh, called High Fidelity. Mm -hmm. uh, and I shrank my avatar to the same height as they are. Oh. Uh, okay. And so they, they feel uh, more uh, comfortable talking to me this way rather than looking up to me. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was a fun exercise, but it does uh, require a lot of logistics and setup. Um, does it cre require a lot of sensors everywhere? Uh, at the moment, no. The, the latest version, no. Uh, but they uh, do uh, require a lot of modeling work. Because what once we are within the VR, something like Minecraft doesn't feel quite right. Mm. So you, you have to model something uh, that's more realistic. Mm. But Jitsi and like the double thief here, that's two completely different things. Because Jitsi, you just need a laptop. To yeah. Do it, and this is like completely. Right. And, and, and the double is really just a carrier. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't care about the tablet that's mounted yeah. on it. Uh -huh. So that can connect to Jitsi. Uh -huh. And double is just a, a navigation platform. Okay. Yeah. What happens if there's like in the class, if there's like 20 of those which is running around, I feel like they're just going to keep yeah. crashing into each other. Yeah, so in, in which case, uh, we re recommend you have existing chairs uh -huh. and, and only mount and they can only rotate uh -huh. and, and there's no movement. Okay, so different stations in the room. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah, so we don't really need the double. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we saw that in the uh, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah. <laughs> it is a popular anime mm -hmm. many years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and when they meet, they each have at this station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We could try that first, see mm -hmm. how that works. Yeah, I, I think double is only really useful if you want to go to an ex excursion, like uh, going into the south site of the National Press Museum. Mm -hmm. So just send one in yeah. and, and uh, pilot it by you. Yeah. But everybody join at home. Yeah, and yeah, they can yeah. join through YouTube or <coughs> GC. Mm -hmm. And they ask questions. And then the person driving that relays yeah. the questions. Yeah. And I think that's definitely the case. You, you don't uh, do 20 doubles roaming around. Yeah. 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 Do you think there's going to be virtual tourism? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, outside of like definitely. indoor areas? Definitely. definitely. Well, there, there needs to be some legislation about that, then. otherwise, they're just going to be running around all over the place. Yeah, yeah but, but uh, currently, you, uh, the Taiwan uh, Minister of Culture has the Taiwan Digital Asset Library. So you can visit these places completely at your leisure because all of these are already 3D mapped mm. uh, through photogrammetry. Okay. Uh, and so uh, you don't have to uh, actually send uh, a double going to Batonga who die. I doubt the uh, stairs <laughs> would be friendly <laughs> to the robots, <laughs> but you can nevertheless uh, just walk by it. I'm wondering if there, there in the future there are doubles just being actual avatars for people moving around in society. Would they ever yeah. get stolen by people or anything? Yeah, it could, it could. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I think that's why Sophia <laughs> right, prompted so much discussions. Um, yeah. And I think it, it's a good to, thing to have a lot of uh, intermediate forms. So before they get fully semi-autonomous, mm -hmm. uh, we make sure very clearly, for example, as I said, double is just a movement mm -hmm. platform by the person speaking, it's not a synthesized image. Although technically, you can put a synthesized image on it, but then it would, everybody would get very confused. Mm -hmm. yeah. How is this different from like Google Maps though? Like, uh, so, so Google Maps uh, scans only from the road. Uh, it, it's a street car, right? Mm -hmm. But this, this scanning uh, is uh, complete. Like you can uh, so look at it? all the different uh, angles mm -hmm. in it, and you can rotate it. Uh, you can interact with oh, the you can take the, the stuff inside too? Yeah, you, you can actually oh. walk inside. Now how about like it, the, it, you touch the, like the, you move around the stuff that's inside too? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. It, it's a model, it's a complete model. That's interesting. Right, so so there's uh, training videos of how to use it in, in classrooms. Oh, because okay. they're, they're, they're mapped by, by drones. I thought there was a guy with a 360 camera just running around. No, 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 no. It's, a, it's drones. Uh, that's another technology. <laughs> so there, there's many technologies around. Yeah, this is what we want to do in the middle school. That's why we bought the drone. We want to yeah. try to create this kind of thing. In yeah, yeah. And, and, and AI Labs has a very interesting technology that used the drones to take as uh, the late director uh, Zeppelin, uh, Zeppelin uh, is taking. Uh, but because the drones doesn't have the same grade of the camera that Zeppelin was having, they hallucinate the details based on the Zeppelin films. <laughs> and, and, and so uh, it, it's actually quite convincing. Um, so if you look at the 
uh, their um, trial cameras, they are actually of rather high quality. But actually, the resolution is is actually not good, mm. right? So, so a lot of those details. So this is this completely drawn, taken. Mm -hmm. But most of the details are hallucinated. Oh. Yeah. And it can learn about when to tilt, to pan, to zoom the camera after they finish the primary shooting, because they capture uh, the light from all the different angles. They can decide to rotate uh, post production, mm -hmm. and that's also done by an AI algorithm uh, that learns about the aesthetics uh, from T Bowling's work. Mm -hmm. So that's like is um, double, in a sense. Flying double. Flying double. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, me and Patrick are look into this if we're gonna have to. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that was very productive for us, at least. We learned a lot of stuff. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you. you. Um, We're really happy to share what we've learned. Uh, I mean, frankly speaking, within the cabinet, our kind of telepresencing meeting was seen as something of an experiment of a pilot. Mm -hmm. But after the coronavirus is now the norm. So yes, <laughs> we're yes. really happy that there's more people paying attention to it. Yeah. Living in the future now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, okay, well, right, thank you. Oh, my, my wife told me that it was your birthday a few months ago? Uh, yeah, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. um, so is it birthday gift? <laughs> I, I know that last time I said my wife is in Japan and did you want anything, but okay. you said that you often go, so Thank you. here's something that you can't get in Japan, Okay. but also from Japan. Okay, I'll miss our It's really nice. Cat. And it's Obviously not above three thousand MP dollars. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, but I All hope right. you enjoy it. Yeah, thank you for the birthday gift. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, would, would, because my wife is a big fan, would it uh -huh. be okay for her to visit you on Wednesdays? Yeah, of course, of course. Just let ST know. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I keep bothering you. That's um, fine. It's fine. Can you probably take a group photo? It's okay. You, you pay your taxes. Yeah. So. I, I do. I do pay <laughs> yeah. my taxes. Can you take a group photo? That's our salary. Okay, of course.